word says. He says, write the vision and make it plain. That's two separate things. Watch with this. Look what, what, what Einstein said, the great Albert Einstein. He says this. He says, if you can't explain it simply, then you don't know it <laughs> well enough. This is Einstein, the great one of the smartest intellectuals in mankind, the history of mankind. He says, if you can't explain it simply, then you don't know the material well enough. If, and then God, even more, 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 more astute than Einstein says, write the vision and make it simply plain. Why do I want to make it plain? Because those that read it. See, when you when you read the vision, who's going to be the first one to read that vision? <laughs> mm -hmm. Who's going to be the first one to read that vision? You are. See, when you write your vision, you're going to be the first one to read it. And mm -hmm. every time you look at that vision, you're going to see that is are my actions going toward that vision. It's what I'm doing, getting back toward the vision. Because sometimes, see, that's why you got to write it and put it on the wall and make it plain. Because you want it in eyesight, because sometimes we might get weary. Sometimes we might get off course a little bit. I know y'all don't get off course, but you might get, I might get off course during, during this year. And so therefore I want to be able to see my vision. Why? Because the vision to get me back on track and I'll start running again towards the vision. See, there's grace in writing down the vision. There's mercy in the vision. There, there's favor in the vision. There's goodness in the vision. There's love in the vision. What you need is in the vision. See, people think I just be talking when I talk about vision. But if he's, if the word tells me that my people perish because of, or, or without vision, my people perish. That means if I don't have vision, then I'm subject not to make it. Mm. Or I'm subject to be off course. Or I'm subject just to be round and about. Or I'm subject to be like that, 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 that mouse that's on the wheel that's just steady moving but ain't going nowhere. I'm subject to that. But when I got vision, that means my actions are lining up with what I see. My actions, and then I can question myself. See, then I don't have to have nobody pull my coattail because I can look at my vision and see if my actions are going toward what I said I was doing. See, and then God's mercy and his grace gets on your vision. See, grace is in your vision. What is grace? Grace is the ability and the empowerment to do. You hear that? See, when you have, when you have vision, now you have grace on your vision. Why do you have grace? Because you got substance. Why do you have substance? Because you got faith. And see, now you got grace in that place to do. So now when things aren't happening, now you can go back to God with what? The vision. <laughs> see, that's all we talking about tonight. I don't, I, I ain't got a lot that I'm going to say. I could go into a lot. I can go into what the principle of movements are. Yes, when we talk about, see, in, in art, they have something called the principle of movement. And it's called, and it's physical, and it's, it's implied, it's rhythmic, and it's optical. That's in art. And see, what happens is in physical, the physical aspect of it, they take contrast, and it's used to create what they call a, a dynamic situation. What did we talk about last week? Anomalies. See, in the vision, in your movement toward the vision, you're gonna here, you're gonna experience something dynamic. That's what the vision does. That's what the movement toward the vision happens. The Bible is a man of God in Texas. He said, God will give you more on the way than when you get started. Mm -hmm. See, once you get started <laughs> toward the vision, see, you can't even start without a vision. Whoo, look at what happened. I, I, you know what I'm going to use, Q? I'm going to use a Christmas giveaway. We started off saying we're going to bless one family. Right? One family. Along the way. <laughs> See, all we got to do is get started. See, we had a vision. Right? Vision yeah. was there. 
We want to be a blessing to a single head of household family with children. That's what we said. One family. I said one family. So we started off with a vision of one. But see, then Grace got into the vision. <laughs> then she got into the vision. Do. Then the the con then the principles of movement started happening. Ooh, bye, bye, bye. See, the principles of movement, the physical principle of movement means that something dynamic was about to take place. Ah, we went from one. Next thing you know, we got two families. And then next thing, I, man, we might well bless two, three families. So we went from one to three just like that. But what was the dynamic things that happened on the way? On the way, just in the midst of talking about the, the, the giveaway, I heard a, 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 a woman from the, 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 the south side of University Park. <laughs> Woo! Just by talking about it, they heard, listen to me, God, I have the people, when you start moving towards your vision, he'll start, he'll start having ears to hear your vision. I told you people can see with their ears. <laughs> Y'all don't get it, baby. What am I saying? She heard what was going on. And then in her hearing, she saw the vision. Ooh, she said, she said, she said, she said, she said, listen, <laughs> I got somebody that got some toys. Just give me, matter of fact, just hold on. Let me make a call. Hmm. Make the phone call. Come back. Say, just give me the names. Amen. <laughs> give me the ages. Give me the sizes. Is that, and, 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 and then, now this is the dynamic things that started to take place along the way. Right? Change the whole shape of what we was about to accomplish. See, the vision is yet, the Bible says, you just read it, Fargo, it's for an appointed time. Mm -hmm. And then it says, it's going to surely come. It may tarry. Oh, we had to wait. <laughs> she said, wait. She said, wait, wait, wait. Just wait. Let me see. And then I call you back. Then I get a call back. We gave her the list of the names. We gave her the sizes. We gave her, got a call back. She said, oh, I, she took care of the whole first page. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that was what she did. But what that did was that made us step our game up. So now we got resources that we can do. Now we're doing something totally different. Now we're getting right. coats for everybody. Now we're getting gloves for everybody. Now everybody getting toys. And once people are getting scooters and people are getting stethoscopes, I mean, uh, telescopes, people are getting blessed. Amen. Because there was a vision. And in the vision along the way, movement started to happen. Movement. See, the thing is, and the key is, and what God showed me, and that is, is that now when we write these visions, and what our actions just have to go towards the vision. Because guess what was on that vision? There was grace on that vision. And, and this was without us knowing any of that. I walked into the lady's place. It was like a toy store. Huh? Mm. So what? And, and, and then I had to tell some people, we start seeing along the way distractions. We start seeing along the way certain things coming against the what? The vision. Mm -hmm. Because though it tarry, <laughs> though it wait, but when we sat back and waited, and then we, we got a resolve to do what? Stay in the vision. All you got to do is stay in your vision. <laughs> stay there. Huh? Mm. All you got to do is stay in your vision. Stay the course. Even if you get off, even if distractions come, even if fear comes, even if pain comes, Oh, you say pain. Pain can come physically. It can come mentally. Oh, 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 oh it, it, it could come in your heart. Distractions can come all type of ways. But stay the course in your vision this year. Because grace is in your vision. Because God is in your vision. Movement in the vision will cause something dynamic to occur. That, that anomalies will play will take place because the principle of movement is there, right? And then even if we go, that's just the physical principle. 
We're not even talking about the implied principle. The implied principle will cause whoever sees the vision to start to imagine. If the word of God says, I'll give you, I'll bless you more than you can ask or think. Think about that. I, I, he says, now unto him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can imagine. The principle of implication of implied movement will cause you to start thinking and God will bless it more than what you can ask for. Look at what happened. We was talking one person. We was talking, give them some money, have a nice day, be a blessing. Next thing you know, we go from that to the imagination going crazy. Now we don't just see getting prepared for three. We start seeing getting prepared for 3,000. <laughs> mm. mm. Yes, sir. Why? Because of the imagination in the, in the what? Implied movement principle taught the vision right and then look at this you go from that to the rhythmic part of it the rhythmic in, in, in movement principle so you get to moving towards it now you get your rhythm that's what Donnell got right now in prayer he got a rhythm and the rhythm that he has is he knows when the beat is not uh, beating the right way <laughs> he 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 can get into into prayer and he can feel when he's not in the right rhythm. And next thing you know, I hear hallelujah. Then I hear, oh Jesus, the spirit that's on me. He don't know what to do with because he gets himself in the rhythm. Right? Mm -hmm. And see, that's 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 this God, man. Proverbs, man, he says, consider the ant. The ant, the ant, the ant, the ant, he stores up in the winter and the summer. He keeps going in the rhythm. See? And then optically, man, the, the principles of optical movement, and it creates an impression that it, it takes something that is, is stagnant. <laughs> but because you get movement optically, you start to see it happening. Now it starts pulsating. Now it starts shifting. You know what pulsating means? That means it's coming alive. And see, God's going to take your vision from being implied to being manifested. And the way he does that is us staying in our actions. Why? And I'm telling you, that's what we wanted to deal with in the beginning. That everything there's a what, there is a why. And you do this because these are the things that cause these visions to come to pass. I heard something today. Lady said, you don't need more of this. You don't need more of that. You need more discipline. <laughs> All we need is commitment. And yes, you need discipline. But you need a, 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 a spiritual indignation to say that the things that I've been dealing with for the rest of those past years, I'm coming after what God has given me to do this year and not just the year. It's the season. See, it's not just about a year. See, that's what I want you guys not to, to don't miss. See, it's not just the year. It's the season. See, it's the season that God wants to do something in our life. It's the season God wants to do anomalies in our lives. It's the season God wants to take you from where you are to where you're going. It's the season. How many seasons have we let go past without getting everything in that season? There's a story of a man that gets to heaven and, and in the corner was a whole lot of uh, uh, things. Houses, land, and, and cars, money, and people. It was a whole lot of things. And he get there, and he looked over. He said, well, what is all of that? He said, oh, those are the things that you would have had if you would have did what you were supposed to do in your season. <laughs> we don't want to leave nothing for next season. We want to get everything that we ought to have this season. And it starts with our vision. And our actions, and see, the reason why you need vision, see, discipline that to, does what? It helps you get to the day. But vision helps you get through the year, gets through the season. 
Because even if you get off track, vision will put you back on. Even if you get distracted, vision will get you right back on. I'm not saying you don't need discipline. You definitely need discipline. You need discipline like none other. We all need discipline. That's what the disciples were. They were disciplined ones. That's what the word disciple means. They were one who were disciplined, right? So you want that to be your character, what you do, who you are. You want to be known for that. <laughs> you want to be known as men of vision and then men of standing. <laughs> men, <laughs> men of love and life. That's who we are, right? And so watch this. And so what God wants to do with this vision this year, he wants us to make sure that we are actively pursuing toward our vision. Every single moment, everything that we're doing is either going toward our vision or it's going away from it. <laughs> all right. So with that being said, that's all I got on the word. That's all I got on the word. And, 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 and I pray that blessed you because I pray now you ready to get into your vision and get it right. And get it cracking. I, I, I hope I was able to inspire you about your vision. I hope I was able to get you a little stirred, like getting you ready to go. Hey, man, ain't nothing stopping me this year. All we got to do is continue to actively pursue <laughs> the things that God has given you in your vision. In Jesus' name. Come on, gentlemen, get God some praise. <laughs>